Hello happy crafters, Karen here. Thought I would come uh, to you this evening with a is it as easy as it looks? I have been looking through magazine looking for decorations um, to make and I had this magazine which is Christmas Your Home and it's this year's um, and on page what channel? 45, 46, 47 is this and it's an article on making pompon Brussels sprouts I'm not sure if that's an English thing um, but they're like a little green vegetable like a little mini cabbage probably um, little uh, Christmas pompons for your decor uh, for your tree or there's also um, Christmas puddings uh, so you can see there. So it's been years since I've done pom poms, so I thought I'd have a go. Um, this is the first one I've done. Very cute. Um, and then we went on some more. I think he's quite cute. And he hangs on the string. Uh, from there, um, I started making other things, like my little monster. He's rather cute with his hair, tufty hair. And a little girl. She started off as a Brussels sprout, um, but my little girl wants to put a bow on her, so it's turned more into sort of like a little green monster. So, I will show you how easy, or not, it is. Um, I've used my hand to uh, make the pom-poms, which is what I'll show you. However, there is also the way of doing it um, with this piece of cardboard, which is the way my children have done it, because my children have made pom-poms and they've got them in the room today, which gives you an idea about how easy it is. So for this one, you wrap the wool right around the middle and then you pass the wool around the middle to tie it off. For little hands or little people, this is probably better. For anybody with reasonable size hands or big hands like me, it is actually a lot easier to do it on your hand. So I will show you that way. Okay, so we get the wool. Um, hold on to it. Make your hand quite large. And basically, you just keep going round and round and round and round. And actually, once you start doing these, it is really, really quick. Um, at least this bit is. Um, it's all live time. I'm not going to speed it up. Even got my glue gun at the ready, so we know how much time it actually takes. What time are we on now? Three minutes 30, and to be fair, I've only been doing this 30 seconds. Most of it was me blabbering. So, you can see, so it's just getting thicker. Now I quite like, like big fluffy ones. So, that's why I like lots of wool on it. And I've actually, I'll show you um, if I can insert it and find it. Uh, Pinterest do, they show lots of different uh, ones. They show them made into garlands. Um, they also show them um, as baubles. So lots of different colors with a plastic bottle lid on top, like it's a bauble on a tree, which looks really cute. So, about that much I find, oh. mm -hmm. about that much is probably enough. Okay, and then you need a longer bit. These are my rubbish scissors. Is that much double-sided sellotape on these is disgusting. Okay, so from there, Save my spot. 
lay it flat. And then this is the most difficult bit. Um, this bit is getting it super tight, as tight as you can do it without um, snapping your wool. The problem I find is as you're trying to do it, it sort of bounces back. It's got a bit of give in. So if anybody knows how to actually get it even tighter, please let me know. But that is it. And then for the fun bit. bits I've missed but I think okay so that is what you end up looking with it starts off like that um, which is how my pom-poms as a kid used to look like this is what I've just done and they Look a little bit messy. You know, sometimes that's the look you're going for, but not today. So, from there, you're going to give it a haircut. Like I loved doing to all my Barbies when I was a kid. And that's why they always have really short hair. Um, so, there is no real graceful way of doing this. And at first, you're probably going to be like I was and a little bit apprehensive about how much you're cutting off which is why I try to use sort of a big hands worth but I promise you it starts to look tidier Play to see where you are with it. <laughs> As you can see, I'm not being delicate or precise, just hashing away. And eventually, it will start to resemble something that you're happy with. said please do not be worried um, or, or be timid about trimming this because the further down you go the tighter the strands get together so the better it looks so it just depends on sort of what look you're going for really a few more yeah. so if you can see you know, I could probably get away with going a bit smaller on that, but I quite like that, that bushiness. And that was the other one we were looking at. So if you can see, you know, volume wise, there's quite a bit off, but that obviously looks a lot denser and thicker. So that's what we want. Um, like I said, you could go, you keep, could keep, just keep trimming really and get a much smaller. Oh, no. Right, so clear 
this away and get on to the decorating. So for that, all you needed was wool. So we've got our wool and then googly eyes. I got these googly eyes today from the pound shop. Good old pound shop for a pound, obviously. And then luckily the big eyes, you get a big pack at the back. Um, I know B&M's and to be fair, most kids craft, sorry about it, kids craft stores do them. So two little googly eyes. And I got this felt and it was a bigger, slightly bigger piece than this. And it cost me I think 80p from the craft shop. So um, I'm sure you can probably get it um, cheaper. Too exact, as long as it's not completely screwy. There we go. So, for this one, all we're doing is cutting triangles in because this is the party hat. Just need to make sure you go right into the corner because. I don't know about you, but the feeling of ripping felt goes right through me. The same as cotton, when cotton doesn't, when you haven't cut cotton quite well and you pull it apart, it's gross. Nearly done. There we go. Cool. So, then it's up to you how you want to decorate that. Um, I've been using um, little little gems, but you can just leave it like that, or you can pop some little bling on it. Um, and I just think it makes it look a little bit more party. So let's see if my blue gum will stretch. Now, although there is sticky on this, because it's felt, I wasn't really sure how well it would stick. I didn't want to do it and then um, it just come off. So. Thoughts might be safe than sorry. You know, you could put you could do anything on this. I think they, they did there's some cross hatch ones I saw. Oh what? Who would have thought the hot glue comes on? Um more to go. So yeah, you could draw pat patterns with markers. You could do pretty much any sort of pattern you like. I just think it just adds a little extra. Adding these sparkles. And let's face it, who doesn't like sparkles? Oh. Oh, pants. Mm -hmm. It's upside down, but luckily it's hot. So I'll take that off. And try again. There we go. So while that's cooling down, decide which side we're going to have our face. Now, when I've been doing these, the, the side I'm going to have the face on, I've just tended to just trim down a little bit more. Um, just so you could see the eyes. Sure. 
Max for some reason. Don't know why. doesn't tend to look quite right unless it's tight. Ah! Typical. Now, I don't know why my glue gun um, seems to take a while the glue to go off. It just needs a while to cool down a lot, but let's get this other one off ready. And the other right. There we go. Isn't he cute? <laughs> so you could just leave him like that. While it cools down. I'm going to glue my party hat. Oops. Okay, let's try him. Okay, so we have our little crown. Fit it over the top. And the only real way I found to get this to stick was pretty much just to dump a load of glue in. Um, So, if we get him there and then just empty the glue gun's meant to steam, <coughs> empty a load of glue into there. Just wait for that to cool. And that'll be him. How cool is he? He is so super cute. Hello. <laughs> so yes, the answer is that was very easy. Easy to do. The children love doing it as well. Um, we also looked, you know, you could Rather than using a string, if you just use a, um, a dressing needle or a big thick needle, um, that's how I got the hair. I got some additional wool, threaded it through a needle and just pushed it right through the middle um, and pulled it tight at one end and left sort of a loop and then went back through again to get the hair for this one. Um, but if you were doing puddings, just do a brown pom-pom and then you could either do half and half to get the look or just get some felt, just get some cream felt um, or you could cut out some holly to put on the top. But no, they're rather cute. These remind me, um, back in the early 90s when I was a kid, they used to have road shows, all the sort of state uh, radio stations where they would give away little animals like this, which were smaller, little pom-poms with like a ribbon advertising. And these remind me of those, especially the little feet. But they're 
cute. So, so that's it. Yes, they were very easy, really cheap, a great um, a little craft to do with the children as well because surprisingly, I thought they would get bored after two minutes and they didn't. They loved doing it. Um, and especially my daughter who loved sort of doing the bow on hers and personalising them. So yes, um, like and subscribe if you want to see any more videos from me. 